hello dear students welcome back to my channel for upcoming slc exam 2024 we are discussing important and most expected questions in this video we will discuss five questions which are definite for your exam these concepts will be definitely asked in your examination do watch the complete video do try to make a note of all these questions and do solve similar questions from the previous year exam papers or from the textbook but these questions are very important for your exam and also students do join my whatsapp channel which is shared in the uh, the link is shared here and also join my telegram group now we'll see the important five and expected questions it is part 1 we'll be discussing more parts we have only left with four months for the exam do watch the complete video the first question solve 2x plus y equals 8 and x minus y equals 7 by elimination method here what is the first equation the first equation is 2x plus y equals 8 take this as equation 1 the second equation is x minus y equals 7 this is second equation now you need to eliminate any one of the variable see here you can cancel plus y and minus y right so what i'll do here adding equation 1 and 2 you can cancel plus y and minus y now 2x plus x is 3x equals 8 plus 7 is 15 now x equals what 15 by 3 what is 15 by 3 it is 5 we got x value as 5 now to find out the value of y put x equals 5 in any one of the equation now put x equals 5 in i'll put in equation 2 now 5 replace x by 5 5 minus y equals 7 now shift 5 minus y as it is minus y equals 7 minus 5 you get minus y equals 7 minus 5 is 2 now you get y equals what minus 2 dear students you can eliminate any one of the variable if they have opposite sign with same coefficient that means you can cancel 2y and minus 2y the same way variable should be same coefficient should be same and you should have opposite sign to cancel okay you can solve uh, similar Uh, concept based question from the previous year uh, question papers this uh, questions i'll share it in my whatsapp channel and telegram group do join and also do follow me on the instagram group for any notification important updates now the second question very important question prove that 5 plus root 3 is an irrational number now you should assume this is an irrational number but you should assume it as rational number to the contradiction assume what is the first step assume 5 plus root 3 is rational you should assume it as rational number what is the first step assume the given number as what rational number now rational number is of the form what p by q rational number is of the form p by q where p q belongs to z that means p q are integers and q should not be equal to 0 
means you can write in the statement also pq are integers and the condition is q should not be equal to 0 now keep root 3 and shift 5 to RHS we get p minus q minus 5 now root 3 equals now taking LCM or by butterfly method p minus 5 q by q now we can see here we know that root 3 is irrational number but what we got here here it has rational number right see these three statements you should write this implies that root 3 is rational root 3 is rational because p minus 5q by q is rational but what is root 3 but root 3 is irrational therefore our assumption is wrong therefore 5 plus root 3 is irrational number dear student first you should assume 5 plus root 3 as a rational number write it in the form of p by q conditions are very important p q are integers and q should not be equal to 0 keep this root 3 and shift 5 and express root 3 in the form of p minus 5 q by q this implies that root 3 is rational because p minus 5 q by q is ra rational but we know that root 3 is what irrational number therefore our assumption is wrong therefore 5 plus root 3 is an irrational number now moving to third question solving the given quadratic equation by quadratic formula first write down the quadratic equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 equals to 0 the coefficient of x square is a the coefficient of x is b and the constant is c now what is the value of a a is 2 b is minus 5 and c equals what 3 you can identify right the values of a b and c what is a coefficient of x square what is b coefficient of x c is the constant now do try to repeat me uh, with uh, repeat me the formula x equals minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a dear student before solving this problem do try to learn this formula first definite question for your exam definitely a question based on quadratic formula is 100% uh, learn this quadratic formula x equals minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac by 2a dear student pass the video learn this formula then watch the next part that is now substitute the values of a b c x equals minus b value is what minus 5 already we have minus in the formula b value is what minus 5 minus of minus 5 plus r minus square root of b square is what minus 5 whole square minus 4 into what is a a is 2 uh, c is what 3 divided by 2 into a is what now x equals now minus into minus it becomes plus 5 plus r minus square root of minus 5 whole square is what 25 5 5 is a 25 minus into minus plus now 4 into 2 is 8 8 3 is a 24 divided by 2 into 2 is 4 now 5 plus r minus square root of 25 minus 24 is 1 divided by 4 what is square root of 1 square root of 1 is 1 5 plus r minus 1 by 4 now what we get is x equals 5 plus 1 by 4 or x equals 5 minus 
1 by 4. Now what we get? 5 plus 1 is 6 by 4 which is equal to 3 by 2 or x equals 4 by 4. 5 minus 1 is 4 divided by 4 we get 1. Now we got the value x equals 1 or x equals 3 by 2. Dear students, the first important step is find out the coefficient of, find out the values a, b and c. Then learn the formula x equals minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Then substitute the values of a, b, c and simplify you'll get the values. Here the important thing is identifying the coefficient a, b and c. Take any quadratic equation. First find out a, b and c. Then write down the quadratic equation. Then you substitute it. Then you simplify it. Very important to mark question. Next, find the sum of first 20 terms of the arithmetic progression 2, 7, 12. Now first what I will do, I will write down the AP. What is the given AP? 2, 7, 12. What is the first step? First step is find out the value of A, find out the value of D common difference and the find out the value of N. What is the first term? First term is 2. What is the common difference? Difference of any two consecutive numbers in the AP. 7 minus 2 or 12 minus 7, what we get is 5. The common difference is 5. We need to find out the sum of 20 terms. Therefore, N equals 20. We need to find out sum of 20 terms. Here, there was sum of 20 terms. Therefore, we need to use which formula? SN formula. That is, SN equals N by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d sum of n terms is given by the formula sn equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d now substitute the values of n is what 20 here replace n by 20 by 2 next 2 into what is the value of a a is 2 now what is n n is 20 minus 1 d value is 5 dear student identify the value of a d n then write down the sn formula then just replace the variables that is a d n by the values now s yes, 20 equal 20 by 2 is 2 times 10 is 20 therefore 10 into 2 to the 4 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 into 5 here what you should do is you should multiply first 19 into 5 4 plus 19 into 5 is 95 here now s20 equals 10 into 4 plus 95 is 99 now 10 into 99 is 990 therefore sum of 20 terms is 990. Very simple questions. Very important question. Do try to solve these questions again and again and again until you become perfect in this concept. Try to solve as many similar questions from the previous year board papers. Dear students, don't fear about the exam. Still, you have four months for the exam. Do try to practice all these questions. Next fifth question, a die is thrown twice. Find the probability of getting, sorry, a die is thrown once, only once. Find the probability of getting a odd number and prime number. Now, if I throw a dice, if, it, if I throw a die, what are the possible outcome? I can get one or two or three or 4 or 5 or 6 these are all the possibilities if I throw a die these are the, all the possibilities if I throw a die now count how many possibilities are there that is 1 2 3 4 5 there are total 6 possibilities are there therefore the sample space or the total outcome is 6 now the first come what is the probability of getting odd number? Let A be the event of getting 
odd number now probability of event a is what n of a by n of s what are the odd numbers here a equals odd numbers here are 1 3 5 1 comma 3 comma 5 therefore n of a is 1 2 3 there are three possible outcomes are the n of s is 6 therefore 3 by 6 is 1 by 2 in the same way let b be the event of what prime number now what are the prime number in this all the possible outcome 2 3 5 2 3 5 why 2 3 5 are the prime numbers because these numbers cannot it can be divisible by the number and the one itself you cannot have any factor other than the number and the one itself see I have made the basic video series do watch those videos to learn the basics first still you have lot of time to learn the basics and to score good marks in your examination now what is n of b what are the outcomes will get three outcomes two three five therefore n of b is three now p of b is what n of b by n of s what is n of b it is three what is n of s it is six again you'll get one by two dear students these are the five important questions what we have solved here now in case if you are not able to understand any question do try to watch it again and again download the video do watch it again and again try to become perfect in this problem do solve similar questions uh, from the previous year board papers and from the textbook definitely these are very important concepts for your examination do join my whatsapp channel definitely will be sharing the important questions that is question papers previous year question papers preparatory paper solution for preparatory papers and also last year's videos i've already uploaded you can watch and you can score good marks thank you for watching the video if you have not subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel